At some point in the early 80s, I remember watching the Doctor Who Daleks movies on TV, starring Peter Cushing. And they were just so right for a Saturday morning. They were just like matinee films. But do they still come across that way today? Today is Saturday and it's the morning. So when I get home, I'm gonna unbox the new bit of broken glass there. Thanks for that, Brighton. When I get home, I'm going to unbox Studio Canal's new 4K box set of Doctor Who and the Daleks, and then I'm going to watch the movie, and at the end of this video, I'll tell you how I feel about it in the cold light of 2022. Commence the unboxing. I think my Dalek voice probably could do with a bit of ring modulation. What do you think? And what do you think of this? As always, I want to hear throughout this video any comments you might have on any aspects of this box. Let's start with the cover art. I think it's great that the cover art has, it's just new cover art, isn't it? It's kind of comic book style. It's very much of the period, the 60s, when, when these uh, Doctor Who Dalek movies were made. Um, the second movie, Daleks 2150 AD, is coming out next month, by the way. And um, if this video receives a good response, I'll be covering it. So make sure you hit like if you like this video and subscribe and all of that stuff. Yeah, the only thing I'd say about this uh, front cover art is that there's been a kind of metallic finish applied to it, which kind of mutes the colours for me, and it means the colours don't pop quite as much as they otherwise might have. But that said, it's still a really nice set, and it just looks, it does look great, doesn't it? I mean, let's not, let's not quibble too much. This is a brand new 4K restoration of the movie, and there was an article in the recent Doctor Who magazine uh, with Shooty Gatwa on the cover that went into detail on the restoration. It really looks like they've properly gone to town, Studio Canal, on this. So in here, uh, limited edition coin, that sounds interesting. 44 page booklet, 32 page Titan mini book. So is that gonna be like a little comic? Four art cards, two posters in here. That's quite a lot of stuff in there. Although as people have pointed out, uh, viewers of the channel have pointed out, you know, this set is 50 quid, so it probably wants to have something pretty good in there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of expecting a fondue set to be in there actually at some point <laughs> right let's get this open remind me to put this sticker away inside the box set afterwards don't let me forget now yeah that's looking lovely and on the back of this it looks like there's a sheet of paper here on the back that is attached to it by two circular stickers so i need to peel those off and thankfully they come across oh they come off well enough and look at this a lovely quote here i think that's really cool yeah, you see, they could have just left that blank, couldn't they? But these are the kind of touches that make a box set special and really make you feel as if kind of fans have worked on it. The box feels very thick and very sturdy. And so let's let the bottom drop out of that so we can look inside. Get out of it. There we go. Lovely. Oh, and there's another one. Another quote in there. I think that's really nice. It's, it literally is most interesting. Ooh. okay. What is this then? That's really old school vintage artwork, isn't it? Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a collectible mini book. Interesting. Yes. Let's see what that is. Oh, there's a collector's edition booklet in there as well. So what is this one? Let me get a bit more space in here. Um, get a bit more depth of field. Yes, you get out of the way, you and you. I hope they don't exterminate me with their steam guns. This was made by Titan Books. And this looks like a mainly pictorial guide to the movie which is cool lots of good captions oh here the <laughs> here's the uh, the fowls going for a nice stroll on Wandsworth Common or wherever they are that looks really good yeah lots of great images there look at that merchandise yeah very good very good indeed yeah of course by the way um the second of these movies Daleks 21 AD is going to be released on Studio Canal in one of these box sets next month um, you can pre-order that in a, a link below in the video description and you can order this set as well if it's still available also via a link in the description and um, I'll do a review of Daleks 2150 AD like this one if this video is well received so be sure to hit like if you're liking it and to subscribe if you want more um, classic Doctor Who and VHS horror info entertainment and nostalgia what is this booklet then okay so this one is more text based Still has pictures, obviously, but it looks like, okay, it looks like there's more than one essay in here. Uh, and some nice black and white stills. So that's quite interesting. I mean, I'm not entirely, I'm not 100% clear on the difference between these two booklets, but I think it's quite nice to have two. And uh, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Those are really nice. Okay, now we've got the posters here. Oh, that's quite a nice, it's got quite a nice kind of thick matte paper. Yeah, 
now can I fit all this on the screen no I cannot you'll have to just I'll have to show it to you like this <laughs> and you can put it all together in your mind because I know you're incredibly smart because you know you're watching this channel <laughs> oh another one. Oh, this is the new artwork that's really cool so there's one poster for the new artwork and one poster for the old artwork and I think these are a nice size actually really very nice now usually at this halfway point in the video I would put an advert here but instead today let me take 14 seconds to tell you about something new and exciting that I've introduced to this channel memberships yes if you're willing and able you can support this channel on a monthly basis in exchange for what I hope are some really cool perks hit the join button under this video for more details it won't commit you to anything thanks very much if you do decide to have a look and now let's get deeper into this Dalek box set and what we have here my friends is oh there's something moving about i'm guessing it's the coin the limited edition coin now this is the actual 4k disc slash blu-ray and it's a nice kind of um what do you call this a digi pack what do you call this then what do you call this uh, a digi pack type of affair and so i'm assuming it has a 4k disc and the blu-ray i'm really happy about this release in general because i'd kind of been thinking I mean, obviously, I own these Dalek movies on VHS, as uh, as you may have seen in a recent video. If not, I'll put a link to that one at the end of this video, um, in which I look at the VHS releases that first came out in this country. But ever since, I've been trying to work out what the best Blu-ray release was to get of these movies, and now the answer seems clear. This seems to be the best you can have. So you've got the Blu-ray here and the 4K disc here, and don't they look nice? That's That's pretty, isn't it? And we've got the special features. Let's just remind ourselves a little bit of these. The Dalek Legacy, Destination Scarrow, Restoring Doctor Who in 4K, Audio Commentary with Jenny Linden, who played Barbara, and Roberta Tover, who played Susan. Audio Commentary with uh, critic Kim Newman. Oh, he's a good man, Kim. He loves his horror. And Doctor Who, clearly. A screenwriter slash writer Robert Shearman, another lovely man. And actor-writer Mark Gatiss. Yes, lovely men, all three of them. Dalek Mania is an old documentary, isn't it? It's great to have that here. Uh, interview with Gareth Owen and then the original trailer remastered for the 2013 release so that's pretty cool oh look at this description here uh, very mild violence and threat on any other film that would convince me not to watch it but with this it doesn't matter does it so yeah I think that's that's pretty 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 and what else is in here this looks like art prints let's take the band off of this I don't really want to open up the band if I can help it but I do feel duty bound to show you everything in this set come on for the love of God will you get off it voila art cards that's a nice one they're thick enough card medium thickness card I'd say yeah that's pretty pretty good yeah they're not flimsy they don't feel it's not that cheap type of art card that's basically not card but paper Oh yeah, that's a that's a great one, isn't it? That's a classic. Yeah, Roberta Tovey with the Daleks. Oh, and there's more Dalek action. Look at lovely old Roy Castle there, looking shocked. Cool. And lastly, there's something rattling around in here. Now this happened over on my metal channel uh, that I also have, in which I was uh, unboxing a Creator box set, a thrash metal box set, and the, the last thing came dislodged, and I had to find it, and so it's become. A theme now what is on this I actually have to look oh I see it's uh, it's a foul Doctor and the Daleks that's quite cool and it's in a case as well they are beyond reason they wish only to conquer some nice Daleks there let's see how this opens does it open I'm not actually sure if it opens it must open surely yeah it opens all right there we go let's get a better look at that very nice yeah it's heavy it's it's proper metal you know I like a bit of proper metal yeah that's really good really good it's a really nice set and of course you know whether whether the things in here are worth 50 quid of your finest pounds during a cost of living crisis will be up to you and for everyone to decide and it's kind of dictated by their own circumstances but it's certainly a nice set and I think it's got several things in it it's got art cards posters two different booklets a coin and of course the discs themselves so if these things appeal to you it's worth getting this set anyway it's still Saturday morning so I'm gonna go away now and watch this and then I'm gonna come back quickly and tell you what I thought of it hold on 
Hello again. So I finally watched this and I enjoyed it very much, but I enjoyed it in a very specific Saturday morning-y type of way. Yes, this is still very much a matinee type movie, primarily aimed at children, I think, and it did not keep my attention as much as it did as a, when I was a kid, sadly. And that's primarily because it's about two hours long and quite slow paced. But it's got great Daleks, it looks really nice, and it's just fun. It's just, it's a really nice kind of warm kind of movie to watch, even though the fowls scream in a really hideous fashion when they die. <laughs> and it looks good. I think the 4K looks good. I don't know if it blew me away, but it's worth bearing in mind that I haven't seen, you know, the original version of this movie for a while, so I don't have too much to compare it to. I'd like to hear your thoughts, though, so get right down in comments to tell me anything you want to say about the movie or the box set. And if you're a Dalek fan, which you probably are, you will want to watch this video right here that I made earlier. Please hit the like button if you liked this video, uh, because that really helps the channel out and allows the videos to be seen by more people. Thanks for watching, then, and until next time, don't forget to embrace your obsession.